All right, what's going on, everybody? Super Simple Paul here, back at it once again. And today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 28. And man, oh man, what an episode. So, technically, like I've been saying before, guys, this is episode one of Dragon Ball Super for most of us because if you've already watched Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, this is technically the newest piece of content in that story timeline because everything else up to this point so far summarized those movies or actually went into slight bit more detail in terms of those uh, storylines because um for the most part not that much has changed just slight little details that things people could have easily skipped over but now we're finally seeing champa and his arc begin and none of this has been covered in a movie or nothing like that so it's entirely new and this had me so freaking hyped man i can't even begin to explain how hyped i was watching this episode the first episode of dragon ball super i was i was just like ecstatic because of how amazing it was to see dragon ball z is back in the dragon ball storyline and stuff like that the first four episodes were my favorite because those were things we never saw up until episode five where the battle of gods era kicked in so the first four episodes i absolutely loved i reviewed all of those episodes but i had to take them down because of copyright and then the fifth episodes where my hopes were destroyed a bit because the animation you guys know how that one went and um i've been watching the series up until this point i've been talking about it in my videos i've been doing mini reviews not exactly in-depth ones but this episode right here is where it technically all begins and starts so if you guys haven't started in on the series right now this is the perfect time to do it episode 28 now, this episode with all of this new stuff, Champ appears and they keep making fun of the fact that he's really fat. And it's a really funny episode. You get to see him and Beerus go back and forth. They also explain and open up the realm of possibilities with the two universes and all 13 of them in total. Um, how universe 6 and 7 are parallel universes and stuff like that. And there's a whole new world of fighters that are just stronger than Goku and Vegeta out there. So... Goku's really hyped about that. On top of that, at the very end of the episode, they revealed that there's a person stronger than Goku out there on Team Champa's um, side. So it's going to be really, really epic. They're going to be fighting for planet Earth and the, the Super Dragon Balls. Champa has six of them. There's one more. And if you guys didn't know this already, the, the way the Super Dragon Balls work is that they're scattered between Universe 6 and 7. So you're going to have to cross between both of these universes to collect all of them and champ has been sneaking into universe 7 to grab some of them and and like i think he's been going back and forth but he has six of them and bulma's making the dragon radar to find the last one and these dragon balls can do anything you want basically any wish you want it can be done purunga and shannon have nothing on this dragon and i can't wait to see how big this dragon is because the dragon balls are the size of planets the thing is beerus and champa can't fight that's why they have to make teams if two gods of destruction fight the universes that they belong to will both be destroyed so they're setting up teams goku and vegeta are clearly on the forefront and stuff like that it was a really really funny episode it got the plot moving in the entire time i was hyped they laid the groundwork for all the upcoming fights and everything basically hey we have all these new fighters out here that you guys have never seen before it's time to show you guys how it's done and it opens up the dragon ball realm to like a next the next level like it finally did that battle of gods did this very briefly when they introduced beers but it was just beers and weiss that was it you never really got to see anybody else out there and then frieza came in and some people were hyped about that some people weren't because of the fact that we've already seen frieza before and yes he got a new power level and it was like very very high up there but it wasn't anything really new because we all knew he was going to get his ass beat anyway with this this is just the the next level and this is the thing that we've been all been waiting for so out of 10 i would say this episode was probably a nine for me actually it was really, really fun to watch. I definitely recommend it, and it's moving the plot along, so you're going to be able to see where this all begins and how it's going to go from here. And another thing is that they, di they didn't really focus on Goku and Vegeta. It was a lot on Shampo and Beerus, and I really, really liked that. Goku and Vegeta were kind of like the back characters in here, the background characters, and it was awesome. Like, you're seeing all these these two guys sitting here like it's a mini god summit you're just chilling here talking back and forth, and it's really, really cool. It's like the Hokage summit in Naruto. But it's just the two of them. Imagine if they had more gods at that table. That would be really epic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like and favorite the video. Tune in for Dragon Ball Super next week. And we'll be seeing what's going to be happening in the future. Peace.